From Oliver Stone, the man behind JFK, Nixon, and The Hand, and Ron Howard, the mind that brought you Richie Cunningham, Opie, and Grand Theft Auto. Not the really awesome computer game Grand Theft Auto, but a really lame old movie of the same name, but that has nothing to do with the game at all. Comes the most importantest film of ever. George W. Bush, I intend to put you on trial in the only court that matters, that of public opinion. Trial? Trial for what? What's the public? <laughs> a trial for your general presidential suckitude. Well, some folks think I'm the best president ever. Who thinks that? Jack Bauer. <laughs> Mr. Halliburton. Yeah, my daughter Barney. DreamWorks Animation and Court TV present a major motion sickness. Frost forward slash W. <laughs> but just look at the record. I mean, illegal wiretapping, you stole the presidential election, unlawful detention of civilians, and you invaded a sovereign nation under false pretenses. Hold on a second there. You say I invaded the Iraq stand under false pretenses, but, but I find that insulting. Everyone knows I'm not pretentious. <laughs> Two men, three cameras, one central metaphor about how doing a TV interview is kind of like boxing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, David, this, uh, I'm glad that a member of the liberal media has come out and has offered to uh, talk about some of my big wins. I mean, it's not like my entire eight-year presidency was a total disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but you lie about the WMDs. Well, that, uh, you know, that's uh, all based on whether you uh, define WMD a certain way. Uh, for instance, when you're talking about a WMD, you might be talking about a weapon of mass destruction. But when I'm talking about a WMD, I'm talking about a woolly mammoth diorama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right, our intelligence said the Iraq Stanians had the museums in the chrome of the woolly mammoth diorama. <laughs> <laughs> the scholars could easily uh, see a woolly mammoth inside of a very accurate depiction of its natural habitat. <laughs> I wouldn't allow that to happen on my watch. <laughs> 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 I know, uh, they saw them and they learned. British TV's cheesiest lightweight goes mano a mano with history's greatest criminal. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't count Hitler or Kissinger or like Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, maybe, uh, Where'd you get some of them shoes? Are those lady shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm gonna call you Davy Lady Shoes. <laughs> All I do is I like to take someone's name and make a joke at them. <laughs> 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 It's a bloody, no holes barred fish battle of polite conversation. <laughs> 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 well, let me ask you something, Davy. What'd you do last night? Are you doing any fornicating? Just like Watergate was six. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm saying that you were not good, sir. Did you uh, give the high heart one for God in the country? Or maybe did you uh, close your eyes and think of England? <laughs> well, I'm asking you, did you hunt anyone? Well, well as a matter of fact. All right, that's great. Who, how was he? Good as to be, not she. Because on account of your lady shoes, I'm going to incinerate your gay. <laughs> Fanboy88 of AinItAMovie.com says George Bush gives the best performance since 9-11. You know, so wait a minute, you're saying that it's perfectly legal for the president to lie to the American people, to violate the law. saying that if uh, the president does it, it's not necessarily this legally illegal. <laughs> <laughs> What? Frost forward slash W. Because those who refuse to learn from history can always rewatch it on cable. <laughs> hey, David, uh, tell me where can I get some of them lady shoes? Oh, you can have mine. All right. <laughs> <laughs>